Matty and Cosa are mates I've had probably half my life. You know, I met them when they come down to Mooka. Cosa is my brother. We've worked together and travelled together and lived together for most of our lives. Yeah, yeah Matt's my brother. We're close. Um, we left Sydney together. I was just 18 and he was 20. And we didn't even know what we were going to do at that time. And we came over here taken through a couple of the old claims and that out here and I couldn't believe what's here and open for us to do. We just stayed here. Uh, Life's dad Paul was uh, the owner of everything that we've got here. Dad and I were partners in open mining. We've been working together for a long time. Life's father, Paul Tanza, began mining in Andamooka in 1980. He taught Life and then Matty and Cosa how to find opal. I mean, because we've met Paul, we just kind of put all the pieces of the puzzles together for us. We kind of owe him everything to our open mining careers. We'd still be out here wandering around aimlessly if it wasn't for Paul. November this year will be two years since I lost Dad. Paul Tanza was caught off guard during a disagreement and later died from his injuries. He copped two knife wounds and the second wound got his femoral artery and that's what made him, uh, that's what made him pass. The way he said goodbye was dying in my arm on the way to the hospital. All, all I can do is bloody, you know, I keep my promises to him. And that's, you know, not, not giving up on anything and pushing forward with everything I do. <laughs> yeah, I really took for granted about how much having Dad around was like, you know, he'd, I'd, you'd come out here and all this shit was already done. He'd keep on top of all the maintenance, everything like that. You just rock up and work. Lad's got a fair bit of responsibility, trying to fill his dad's shoes. Uh, it was big shoes to fill. Dad had very high standards of things, and he, he was always on the go, keeping things up to maintenance. So when things aren't working, I tend to get pretty frustrated. And it's important for us to show Leif that we're really serious about this, and we really want to do this for a lifetime career. I don't mean to get pissed off, man. I just hate it when shit goes wrong. Hey, you're all right, bro. Our long belt is a bit jammed up. So what we're going to do is change the power around, run the machine backwards for a minute, get it off its stuck point. You swap the phases on the gen set and everything will run backwards. Ooh, don't run too long. Ah, ah that's why. One of our joiners has come loose off the belt, and uh, as it's turning around, that's catching on the feed bin. I right, just cut that with a grinder for now, and then we'll just run it. Out the way. Yep. Beauty. Lula seems to be going good now. For a 40-year-old machine, she still goes pretty strong, and when everything's up and running at a full speed, we can push through about 100 tonne of dirt a day. Rabbit food. We're not doing too bad here, but uh, we're not really getting a whole lot just yet. I'd like to see a bit more size coming through. This is getting to be the last bits of dirt that uh, we dug out. Call it a day, and hopefully the boys have got some diesel money in there. Right. Well, I'm pretty sure we've pulled up some half decent concrete here. We'll need a good wash to make sure. Here we have concrete, which uh, we find all through the level. It's actually kind of more limestone or more rock than opal, so it looks just like concrete. And here we have a piece of matrix, which we also find in the same sort of areas. This one's probably more opal than it is rock. So they're pretty worthless as they are. They do have a little bit of color, but not a whole lot of value. But after we clean them up, uh, we get them into sugar and acid treatment, trying to darken that host stone that they're in. It could be worth a hell of a lot more. This is the concrete, and these are matrix pieces. All right. Look at that. Heat up for a bit. See how she goes. Cooked at roughly 80 degrees Celsius, 
The porous limestone host rock absorbs the sugar. We've had the concrete and the matrix in the sugar solution for a couple of hours now, so I'm about to pull it out. We'll give it a quick wash off, and then we'll start putting it in the acid. This is the dangerous part of the treatment process. Uh, we're about to pour some sulfuric acid into the vat. If you're going to get sulfuric acid on your skin, or particularly in your eye, it's absolutely going to eat your skin or eye. After adding the sulfuric acid, a chemical reaction begins with the sugar in the host rock. The acid changes the sugar's hydrogen and oxygen molecules into water, leaving the black carbon molecules embedded in the stone. The more vibrant the opal colour against the blackened host rock, the more valuable the gem will be. This could be worthless right now. If it comes out really well after our treatment, it could have a bit of value. Top quality concrete can be worth up to $200 per kilogram, while the best matrix can sell for $600 a gram. We actually haven't found a great deal of opal. This week's success hinges on a few of these pieces coming out just right. We've had the rocks in the acid for a good hour or so now. It's about as much as we're going to need, so I'm about to pull them out. We're going to have a good look and just hope that we got some decent results. Otherwise, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble this week. This week has been a little bit tough. We've come near the end of our fuel supply. We're hoping that we can at least get enough to cover the costs. All right, guys, everything comes down to this for the week. So we've got some concretes coming out. Showing a, a bit of red there, a bit of colour there. That's not too bad. A bit of a bar. We've got a few matrixes in here that's coming out all right. Yeah. This matrix right here has just got the most beautiful roll and flash I've ever seen, man. The Mooka boys have cooked and a Mooka matrix and concrete. Predominantly red, blue and green, with the matrix featuring vivid colour. It will be processed in acid again to further enhance the colour before being cut and polished. What do you reckon that eyeball's worth here, Leif? We've got a bit of cutting to do. I think cut stones are red, man. We can say, say 7,000 with a con. Easy seven grand? Yeah. Not a bad start to the season. Good job, boys. How about we fire up the barbie and a couple of beers? Thought you'd never say it, man. <laughs> awesome way to finish the week. This first load we got, it'll absolutely get us all the diesel we need to go keep going for the next few weeks. Oh, here we go, boys. Ready to go. Here we go. Yeah, and the Mooka Concrete Matrix saved the day today. We'll be able to get some cut stones out of that and make some money.